Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and in today's video, we're going to be reviewing a 2022 BMW M5 CS. First and foremost, though, a huge shout out and thank you to the BMW of Pleasant Grove, Utah, for giving me some time with this M5. Check out the inventory in the description down below. Something that's really cool about the BMW of Pleasant Grove is they do not charge over MSRP for any of their vehicles, including specialty cars like this M5 CS. So if you're going to buy a new BMW, definitely check them out. And then on a side note, if you want to save time and money the next time you purchase a car, link to my car buying guide in the description down below as well. Let's get into the video. So under the hood, we have a twin turbo 4.4 liter V8 that goes through an eight speed automatic transmission. Fuel economy is 15 around town and then 21 on the highway with power puts being 627 horsepower and then 553 pound feet of torque, giving this a zero to 60 time of 2.9 seconds. And I love the display overall. Notice how we have eight because well, it's an eight cylinder. You can see BMW M power, carbon fiber, just looks fantastic. Now, something else to mention before we lower the hood, notice how it says M5 CS, and you can see we have this uh, composite hood, and you can see the heat extractors there on either side. Obviously, that's gonna help with uh, weight savings, and there's quite a bit of weight savings with the CS, but doo -doo -doo. Now, let's go over the front end of the CS. So, first off, you guys can see here, we've got the carbon fiber accenting over the heat extractors, which is really cool. And then look at this paint with the gold metallic flake, which matches the overall theme of this car. So you can see down below, we've got the daytime running lights. Now, if you lock the car and then unlock it, it actually will come on uh, in, you can see this like yellow gold color with both daytime running lights, which is really cool. This is what it looks like when you're just driving around with the headlights on, which is also really cool because it's like two different colors. Uh, but basically all you need to know is there's lots of colors happening with the lights and it's just uh, unique overall. And then you can see the gold trim here for the kidney front grille. We have our M5 CS logo right there. Parking sensors here on the front end. And then notice here with the carbon fiber front splitter there at the bottom. And you know, from a front end perspective, other than the gold, it actually looks pretty much like a normal M5, which I really like. It's kind of like a sleeper. Also, I just realized when I just filmed this lower shot, I didn't have the hood closed all the way because I forgot to before I filmed the clip. So here's what it looks like with the hood actually closed. So coming around the side here, we've got two 75 millimeter tires wrapped around 20 inch wheels in the front and then two 85 millimeter tires wrapped around 20 inch wheels in the back. Now this has the Pirelli P0 Corsa tires on it. You can get another tire as an option, but well, this is what we are testing today. So you can see here with the wheels, how those are also gold. These are alloy wheels, so they're lighter in weight and they look fantastic. Notice we have the giant red brake caliper with the M logo on it. Now this does come with carbon ceramic brakes as standard. And then here's a closer look at the brakes themselves. Notice how we have our M5 CS badge here on the side, carbon fiber for the mirror caps, and then normal door handles actually. And then here is the setup in the rear, carbon ceramics in the back as well if you're wanting again with the red brake caliper. And if we take a few steps back, obviously the gold pops out quite a bit, but again, it looks pretty close to like a normal M5. Now here is the key fob. We've got our unlock function, lock function, the opening here for the trunk. It's just a literally normal BMW key fob. But notice the trunk pops all the way open, which is really cool. Now we have storage space here on either side. I'm just trying to show you that this is a uh, practical car, basically. And then you can see the trunk space. Again, it's, it's pretty uh, normal. And then you can see the carpeting here at the bottom. Again, nothing crazy happening back there. It's literally all normal. You can lock it. Uh, you do have to lower it down yourself. We're gonna touch the uh, license plate right there to uh, shut it, but there you go. Now, finishing things with the rest of the rear, you can see we've got this uh, relatively low profile carbon fiber spoiler on the back of the car. We've got another BMW logo, M5 CS badge again with that gold coloring. And then notice here with the tail lights, and then we've got our titanium exhaust with this car as well, which uh, should sound pretty good. Carbon fiber diffuser, which is uh, pretty crazy. There's parking sensors in the rear, and yeah, it's a cool looking car, but again, it's uh, pretty much, you know, relatively normal M5. Now, last thing on the outside, we have a carbon fiber roof as well, obviously, weight savings, and I mean, it looks cool. The shark fin, however, is not carbon fiber, so it's kind of uh, just spoken out there, but there you go. 
Now here is the door panel in the rear. Notice we've got beautiful leather here at the top with black stitching. And then if we come down below, we've got carbon fiber trim. And then look at the metallic trim that continues into the door handle area. I love the design of the speakers for the Harman Kardon sound system. We've got this red stitching here down below with more leather. We have our M logo right there. And we have the craziest back seats ever. These are like bucket seats, but for the back. So we have M colors on the seat belt. And then just notice with the overall design here with the seats they do have some like alcantara here on the side notice it says cs right here on the shelf and there's actually alcantara here on the back as well which is kind of interesting now popping in you got to kind of just be careful so you got to like reach your legs over because you got a pretty big bolster here you can see leg room i'm not gonna lie these seats are actually pretty comfortable once you're in them it's just hard to get in them and look at <laughs> front seats they're fully set up for a harness which is pretty cool and yes carbon fiber as well and then notice here with the vents, and then we do have climate controls here for the rear as well, which is pretty cool, USBs. And then we have this little storage space thing uh, right there, basically. And yeah, that's that's all for the rear, so let's head to the front. Now here is the front door panel. You guys can see again with the leather trim and the carbon fiber down below, and then notice all of the red stitching. We've got our window controls right here, and then notice the mirrors, they do power fold in. They also have blind spot monitoring. And then again, another speaker for the Harman Kardon sound system. It says M5CS right here. Let's actually see how much this car weighs with the sticker. So 864 pounds of payload. And then let's see if we can find the gross vehicle weight rating. Oh, okay, down here. I'm an idiot. Anyways, so gross vehicle weight rating, 5,050 pounds. So minus the payload of 864. So this is like 4,200 pounds, roughly 4,100 pounds for the weight. And then here are the front seats. So you can see with the M5 logo right there. And I think these seats look so beautiful. Like look at the red leather, the Alcantara, the carbon fiber, and they're still power adjustable. Like that's crazy. And it's kind of like a grab handle here on the side of the seat. That is very uh, unique. Here's the pedals. Notice we got our M5 logo right there. Light control here off to the side and then notice with the stitching and then more of that carbon fiber trim and then leather here on the dash. The steering wheel is power adjustable. Let's pop in. So here is the steering wheel with the M5 CS. We have Alcantara all around the steering wheel and I love the marker here at the center. It's super unique. You can see there's some red uh, behind it, which is pretty cool. And then notice we have our M2 and M1 modes here. Carbon fiber paddle shifters, which are gigantic. And then we have a regular turn signal slash windshield wiper stocks behind. Notice we've got the leather wrapped around the airbag cover. And it still has practical stuff like cruise control. You've got your voice command controls, all of that. Just such a cool steering wheel. And then we have the BMW M colors here on the interior of the steering wheel. And then we got the M logo there at the bottom. And yeah, there you go. Now here is the center gauge cluster. Sorry about the glare on the one side. Um, but anyways, you guys can see full digital gauge cluster just like other BMW models. And then if I press like the M1 button, notice that you have to confirm to go into M1 and then I can do M2. Again, same thing, confirm. Uh, and then if I press the M mode button, notice that it'll change how the gauge cluster looks, which is a pretty cool little feature um, but overall really cool digital gauge cluster it's in other bmw uh, models not just the m cars as you guys know i'm a fan of it and i love how it says m5 cs there at the top seat so you know you can kind of be reminded of the special car you're in so here's the infotainment system it's a pretty normal bmw infotainment system notice we've got the backup camera with trajectory lines uh that turn with the steering wheel and then you've got the parking sensors as well and yeah good resolution as for the rest of the infotainment system itself um, response time is great you have the shortcut bar here you've got like the little center screen here that you can scroll through different things now so you can see the setup with everything currently and then if i press like the m mode button notice i can switch the different drive modes i've got the road sport and then track so track you just have to hold it down for a second and then it'll boom pop it into track mode from a drive mode perspective um, but yeah that is well the infotainment system so we've got our like hazard light button here. This is for the safety tech. You can see normal BMW vents, but notice the carbon fiber and it goes to the CS logo. Beautiful leather here on the dash. Definitely again, makes it feel upscale. You've got the radio preset buttons, which you can just hover over with your finger, which is pretty cool. Just like other BMW models. Dual zone climate controls. It actually has heated seats. I'm surprised because again, it's like a full on race car. And then we've got a wireless phone charger here. Notice this little like M logo. You can, you can pull that off. It just happens to be over it, but it's pretty cool. Got some cup holders. And then if I press this, notice we've got carbon fiber and then there's more carbon fiber inside. You can see all the leather trim and red stitching throughout. This is to turn off your stability control. 
use it wisely. You have your setup button for the drive modes. You've got your M mode right here. You've got this for the exhaust to open or close the valves. You've got that for the parking sensors, and then you've got your parking brake right here. And then this is the analog control of the infotainment system. It's just a dial, so if you don't want to use the touchscreen, you can use this dial. Notice there's tons of carbon fiber. And then for the shifter itself, it's kind of interesting. You have to um, pull it to the... Okay, I'm trying to remember what side now. Oh, wait, down. So you have to like pull it down a little bit and then that pulls out of the park and then I can put it over into like reverse or into drive. Definitely has like a slight uh, learning curve to it. Now, this is what I'm confused about. So like this is the center console lid, but you can't, like I'm not gonna pull on it super hard because I don't wanna break anything, but like you can't, there's no like button to open it. So I don't think this has a center console. Let me know in the comment section below if I'm just being stupid but I, I don't think this has like a functional center console or I'm missing something. Anyways, glove box, look at the handle. It's really nice material use. You can see storage space in there. It was great. And then finishing things up here at the top, you can see we've got the Alcantara headliner as well, which is really nice. And it continues onto the pillars as well. And just, you know, adds to the flair of this car. Now here's a window sticker for this M5 CS. So first off, you guys can see with the standard equipment here with the car, um, so you can see like exterior, it tells you exactly uh, what's happening uh, and then everything else. And then notice the warranty is the same as other BMW cars. You guys don't believe me in the fuel economy rating, by the way. There you go. So this is what I think is interesting. So notice base price, $142,000. Everything is included. We only have a couple options, destination charge, gas guzzler tax and then you can see the total price here um, now the color is uh, included so you can see that it's called the brands hatch gray metallic it's included in the price but basically all you choose with this car is like the exterior color and then the tires that you want and then yeah that's like that's it they all they all come fully loaded the same which kind of uh makes sense and well let's take this out for a drive of sorts Let's talk about visibility before we uh, set off on our drive of sorts. Here's your visibility of the hood. You guys can now see the heads-up display. Both the mirrors, we do have blind spot monitoring. And then throughout the rest of the rear. And, well, I should first put my seatbelt on. And let's figure out this shifter situation again. So over, there we go, <laughs> set off. Okay, so first off, just like other BMW models, uh, this has the cool thing with the shift times where you can basically adjust them a little bit. So here on the shifter, you've got these lines. You can press up and down, and you guys can see on the gauge cluster right by the D for drive, it'll go up or down. So one is the least aggressive, and three is the most aggressive. Um, so you can basically adjust that. Uh, and um, why I say the reason I say test drive of sorts is this car is pre-sold, so I don't want to go out and drive it on the road. I'm going to, yeah, I, I don't, <laughs> $140,000 car that someone else owns, I don't want to do that. So I'm just taking this back to its uh, parking space, but I can at least uh, tell you guys kind of like the feel of it. So seats are very interesting. They're actually pretty comfortable once you're in them. It's just hard to get into the seats, which is, yeah, definitely uh, unique. Steering wheel feels cool. Paddle shifters feel really cool. These are my favorite BMW paddle shifters by far from an appearance standpoint. Um, I love the feel of this car. And something that might upset some of you is, uh, you guys know that I drove that X5 uh, M competition the other week. This basically feels like the car version of that. Again, I know that might upset uh, some people, but that's just what this feels like. From like how the transmission responds and the engine and everything. Uh, just, again, that's just that's just what this that's just what this feels like. Uh, so. Yeah, take that for what it is. Obviously, it's going to have five series handling. It's going to handle quite a bit better than, you know, an SUV, right? Uh, so there is that. Uh, but, you know, in terms of like how the engine just feels and how the transmission feels and everything is pretty much the same. So I can like between me driving, you know, the uh, other five series models and driving that X5M competition, I kind of have a somewhat of an idea of what this car would drive like. It would be an absolute riot, crazy fast. 
but um yeah, it, it just interesting overall. I, I'm not sure if anyone would ever like this would be a very interesting car to daily drive. I'm not sure if anyone would ever uh, daily drive this just with the uh, setup that it has. Also, it doesn't look like it has a 360 camera system. It looks like it just has the like regular uh, backup camera, which I thought was uh, interesting as well. And so yeah, it's overall interesting car. I'm sorry that it's not like an actual test drive. Like I said, I, I don't want to really drive someone else's car, um, but. What I can say is this is a uh, super unique, super rare. And so if you're lucky enough to get one of these, then uh, you're gonna love it. That's gonna sum things up for our video on this M5 CS. Again, a huge shout out and thank you to the BMW of Pleasant Grove for giving me some time with this M5 CS. Check out the inventory in the description down below. I'll see all of you in the next video.